Short of riding in on a parade float, we couldn't have made our arrival more obvious. We had to hide someplace out of the open. I needed to get to my unhappy place. still the small matter of the traumatized girl sobbing behind the trash can. I had to get this poor girl out of there. Oh my god, Max! Come on. What's going on? What's going on? I don't know, but we gotta get the hell out of here. Let's go. We're not going to make it, are we? We'll be fine. We just gotta lay low till Passos gets here. This wasn't looking good. What the hell were Giovanna and Marcelo thinking going in there by themselves? I guess their plan was no more idiotic than mine, and I couldn't really fault them for losing faith in the Bronco's security detail. Let me just check this. We need to get out of the open. A barely recovering alcoholic and an unarmed pregnant woman. We were hardly a SEAL team. I put our life expectancy at five minutes. Hey, if we were lucky. If you can lift me up there, I'll see if I can lower it down. Giovanna was a brave girl. She wasn't giving up. And I guess that meant neither could I. <sighs> well done. Janada. Stay close and keep quiet. God damn it! He's going to the sacada! Next room? Uh, yes, I think so. Well, that may be our best bet. Go on, I'll meet you there. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry. I'll find a way through. Just stay quiet and keep down. I 
Joe's getting good at this. be something. Take a bite, take a bite, take a bite! Oh my god! Are you okay? I think so. There must be a way to drop those stairs down. Wait a second. I'm going to try something. Good. Go on, it's okay. I'm right behind you. There's someone down there. Do you think it's them?
day had started with us hiding in filth and got progressively worse. My luck was running true to form. Or rather, I was running true to form. Should we wait here for Basos? No, it's not safe enough. Come on. Damn it. Max! Quiet! You're the one breaking in. No, you're the one breaking in. Putinha de merda! Na condolência pra sua família!
You ever driven a bus before? Of course I haven't. You ever shot anybody? No. Well, it's drive or shoot, sister. And right now, I reckon I'll be better at the shooting. Come on, you can do this. All right, now listen to me. When I give you the word, I want you to slam it into gear, full on the gas, and drive us the hell out of here. What? Just drive the fucking thing straight and keep on going. Relax. You can do this. Ready? Go. <laughs> Tell them to wait for me now. Go! Jump! Go! just about to run to the roof when my savior and friend, the man whose unborn child I had just killed for, decided to leave without me. Wally Max! Get in! Quick! 
blew off on me. After everything we've been through, I, I saved his girlfriend's life. Who? Raul Passos? Yeah, Raul Passos. Yeah, I don't. I thought you guys were very close. We were. Well, you know what? I did a background check. Jesus. I mean, I thought the two of you worked for Rodrigo Branco. Yeah, so? So? Did you get paid by Victor? Victor? No. Well, Raul Passos did. Six times. Dating back to a few months before you turned up. He even paid for a ticket for him to go to New York. Why? I don't know. My guess is to meet you. But why? I don't know. Maybe he liked you. Maybe he thought you needed a break. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he wanted some dumb gringo to come down here to shoot things up and maybe to take the watch for Rodrigo when he got shot. I don't believe that. Why? Because you're not a dumb gringo? Or because you are? You know, I have no fucking clue anymore. Okay, let me ask you something. What? Well, what is it that you really thought that you were doing down there in Panama? Hmm? And don't tell me you're so naive as to think you were just down there guarding a woman. I didn't know what to say. I had been so loaded in Panama, I could scarcely remember my own name. I know things that got real heavy. Panama had been my second job with Passos. The first had been easy. Money for banging waitresses at some fancy wedding in the Caribbean. This seemed like another easy gig. It was the middle of the day, and like any self-respecting idiot, I was half cut. No, sir, nothing like doing some good blows, some good friends on a boat. Nasty! Ah, come here, I love this one! Oh, Marcello, you're going to be the of me? Oh, I'm afraid of more sharks. Sure beats New Jersey, huh, Max? In some ways. Hey, come on, it's awesome! Yeah. Everybody's drunk and tanned, and listening to house music. Most of them have plastic surgery, and they're all doing blow. I guess it is kind of like Jersey, huh? <laughs> That's very funny, Max. Eh? Hey, soldier. Oh. Ah, I got to quit drinking so much. I give myself serious liver damage. Yeah, big deal. You can always get a new one. Relax. I hope you're not drinking on the job, gentlemen. Kidding, I hope you are! <laughs> Just stay off the Yale, hmm? I don't have enough to share. I'm kidding again! <laughs> oh, Mikey. Even though we just met, I feel like we are good friends, you know? Mm. I feel like safe with you guys. You know that? Like, real safe. That's great. Yeah, and I love New York. Uh, the East Hamptons, do you know it? Uh, not really. I, I spent my honeymoon in Montauk. Oh, where's that? It's just down the road. Whatever. Last time I was there, I got so wasted, I nearly shit myself. <laughs> I didn't know you were married. Yeah, well, my wife passed away. Good. No, not good. Bad. Real bad. But good, because now I can get you laid a lot. <laughs> it is great to be single, hey? Uh, I love a woman. She's with another, and she doesn't want to know it. Fuck her. <laughs>